Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. Uh, we got some new releases, some new pre-orders, etc. ready to roll out, so let's dive right in. Uh, we'll start with the big one. Ooh. That is the Gemini Space Capsule. So it uh, comes with two minifigs, cool little 3D printed, what was it called again, camera guy? HHMU. HHMU, handheld maneuverable. Handheld maneuvering unit? unit? Yeah. Yes. Nice. It's got some compressed gas, gas tanks. During their spacewalks, right, exactly. So Didn't we'll last over... super long? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll go over some more of that stuff too when we check in with uh, with uh, Amanda and Camera Guy to go over this a little bit more in the design room. So, But that is the that is the, the Space Race pre-order for this week. Uh, comes with the stand, comes with too many figs like we were saying, a bunch of printed elements and then those stickers. You wouldn't be believe some of the functions this, this thing has too because it was uh, obviously round and Lego. Is, that's a tough shape to capture. Yeah. Um, and so when you also get to like have some cool stuff play feature-wise, that's a that's a really huge perk. So that'll be a fun kit. I'm excited to see it continue. And then we also have the MASH helicopter done by John Canapa. You want to swap these out quick? Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> Bam. Perfect. That one will come with one minifigure. Uh, and it's been a long awaited request and return. And we finally got the official license through Bell like we needed to do to be able to bring it back. And so now it has returned. The nice little update, kind of a mixture of, of work between John and Dan. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll check in with that. That skeletal Here. kind of boom is really cool. Yeah, right. I like the whole thing. It just comes together. It's a good price Detail. point. It's, it's fun to customize. You can get a couple of them or build a couple of them, I mean. Um, and obviously it was, you know, iconic for multiple reasons, including the television show. So there we go. That's kind of cool. Yeah, fun to do. Um, and then before we jump into our check-ins, let's take a look at our new release. So we also had the Fulgore, but that was only a run of 50 kits and it can't be restocked. So uh, that one's gone. But the Stuart Honey, straight out of North Africa, is still available online at mm -hmm. rickmania.com. I'm loving that camouflage scheme. Yeah, no stickers on this model. Everything you see there is printed. New British tanker, new artwork right there, right? Yep, absolutely. You want to see that? Yeah. Desert jumpsuit, from what I could tell, this seemed to be produced in like India, I think. So mm -hmm. it's, like, it's more of like a regional, regionally produced uh, garment. Um, so you wouldn't see this necessarily in like European theaters. Mm -hmm. A much more simple uh, jumpsuit compared to, um, let's say like the pixie suit from, from uh, later on in the war. Mm -hmm. uh, I got some simulated grunge going on all over the place. Um, trying to make this guy look like he's just been in the field. Uh, yeah. and just getting dirty and um, just showing some wear on his uniform. Uh, pistol belt with that with that drop leg holster. Tankers had this like really low down holster. I, I guess the thought was like if they're crouched or like sitting, sitting. they'd have access to mm -hmm. their pistol. Um, I don't know if it was like super popular in real life, but you see examples of it, especially early on. Um, and then just finishing it up with a standard beret on top there. Yeah. So looking sweet. Yeah, it's a slick little figure. I think it goes nicely with, again, just sort of a. Um, the tank itself is kind of like slick looking as well. Bristling yeah, right. with guns, kind of, you know, an earlier war mm -hmm. brick example. Built, uh, uh, the brick built sights or, or the, uh, what do they call them, the views in the front. Yeah. So you can see out of the tank. Love seeing that. Yeah, yeah. Mary all did an guns. excellent job. <laughs> yeah, and all the, all the guns. Yeah. Just crammed down to a very, very little tank. And then like you said, really like the color scheme. Camouflage works really well, mm -hmm. so that's cool. Once again, the ones that are online, that is all that is left from that initial batch, so make sure you go pick those up. Available right now on BrickMania.com. But now, let's turn back over to our pre-orders, head on into the design room, and hear a little bit more about what we got this week. All right, so once again, we are checking in with uh, Camera Guy and Amanda, taking a look at the Gemini capsule. So this thing's a little bit closer out of its prototype phase. I can see some stickers. Obviously, we have this uh, this cool contraption holding this minifig on here. But what uh, what are some of the functions of this awesome build here, guys? So one of the biggest things we wanted to capture this capsule you know, we wanted to make it accurate scale, but we wanted to make it so you can fit too many figs inside and yeah. have the doors open the way Ooh. that they really do. Which is the tricky part. Yeah, I, think, I, I think we prototyped the uh, two mini figs in more than anything else. Yeah, the uh, the real capsule has these awesome sort of gull wing doors that open up like this mm -hmm. and that close up, and it is incredibly claustrophobic. The astronauts <laughs> described it like sitting in the front seat of a Volkswagen Beetle for eight days. Ugh. So that was that was a real challenge. There was some interesting uh, techniques to get that to work. But you guys they got both it to do work. Fit in there. Yeah, very cool. One thing to point out: this uh, this little spacewalker astronaut. It's it's a placeholder, just our lunar astronaut body. But uh, Landon's doing some cool artwork on that. But mm -hmm. he is holding what is called the HHMU handheld maneuvering unit. So it's a, basically a little tank of compressed air with some nozzles. And this oh. is their first experimental way to actually like 
be able to fly around when they were doing the spacewalk. Didn't work super well, but uh, they were still figuring things out. So that's a really cool 3D printed piece that's going to come with this kit. Yeah, I love it. Landon actually found out the uh, the info on that. He's like, "Do you know?" And we're like, "No." <laughs> So it was great. Love to see the uh, the 3D print inclusions, especially when it's when it's you guys making this <laughs> kit, obviously, because you've spearheaded that operation here. So some some cockpit details, I can assume. Are we looking forward to a fair amount of uh, combination of printer uh, yep. uh, stickers and printing on this thing? Yeah, yeah there's going to be a lot of detail coming. Uh, we've got some prototype stickers here from Slam for the uh, the text on obviously. that. There's going to be uh, UV printing all around the uh, the adapter module here. It's going to be. We've got this really cool gold <laughs> sticker for the uh, protective foil that's Look in the back that. there. Um, and the wrinkles are um, purposeful. They yeah. will be natural because the actual one is just wrinkled all up. And uh, the grill tiles that you see there are going to be uh, white ingots that are printed. Sure. Okay. A little bit of a little bit of prototype still mm -hmm. showing through. Yep. Well, very very cool, guys. So there it is, the Gemini capsule. Is it going to come with two minifigures? Yes. One one able to float on the outside with this awesome little three D printed device, and then uh, one uh, able to able to stay back and, and man the man the mission. So guys, thank you very much for checking in. Get it on pre order right now. All right, Brick Maniacs, we're checking in with Dan Siskin, taking a closer look at a John Canopa model. Uh, this is the MASH helicopter, and Dan, I'm sure there are quite a few people who are absolutely thrilled to see this back in the Brick Mania lineup. Yeah, this is the classic. Uh, Bell H-13 Korean War medevac mm -hmm. helicopter. So we call it the MASH helicopter for the mobile army uh, special hospital units mm -hmm. uh, um, that existed during the, the, the Korean War. Um, it's This has already been released. This is one of the more popular kits that we did when we did our Korean War uh, Chosen Bricks uh, sure. month. And we always wanted to bring it back and we couldn't because of the Bell licensing issue. Mm -hmm. And then we just been granted permission to do it. So uh, we're bringing it back. I did some little bit of updating on it. Uh, mainly, the one thing that the, the previous version didn't have was a removable stretcher. So uh, this one does have the stretchers come off. Nice. We, just, we just made it so it's the, the standard Brickmania stretchers mm -hmm. um, included on there. Did a little bit of upgrading on that. Also, all the previous kit was loaded with stickers. And this one will still have a couple of stickers just based on what, what is being printed, but there will be loads of printed parts. Nice. Very so cool. All the, the little shields in the front here will be printed. There's a, you know, the, the controls will be printed. Uh, all of the, basically every surface that had a sticker on it before will actually be printed. Mm -hmm. Plus the rotors will have printing on them. So um, that'll be a, a huge switch. Uh, took out the flex tubing that was in the back, put the rubber gasket in it, which is much easier to get into the right shape. Yeah, right, and it'll actually stay there, and you yeah. don't have to, like, kink it to get it to roll. Yep. So there there has been upgrades, but any time we get to bring back an old kit, we do go through and say, hey, what can we do better? What mm -hmm. can we do that's cheaper? What can we do that's more realistic now that there's new parts? So it did get a minor, um, you know, facelift, but otherwise mm -hmm. it's it's still the same uh, H13 that, uh, that that John released, you know, it was like, it's like three years ago. Yeah, so. right. Well, like I said, I'm sure people are thrilled to see it back in the lineup now right. on a pre-order available at BrickMania.com. Go check it out. Dan, thanks for checking in. Yeah. Okay, so to wrap up the episode here, we got some exciting announcements, including vaults coming, or vaults coming to the minifigs. Yeah. Vaults no, coming to the minifigs. Mini minifigs coming to the vault. So there we are. Those aren't signed yet because Landon wanted special markers. I want special markers. Yeah, it's cool, actually. We got, we got some gold ones coming in, so they'll be sweet. We'll get the them all signed markers. up. But this is kind of what the, the standard thing will look like. All the uh, uh, minifigs, no matter what they originally came packaged in, are going to come out of the vault in, in this form. So we'll do our best to make sure they got all the, all the stuff that they need to have, but otherwise it will be one of those kind of, you know, see what you get kind of things. Um, or what you see is what you get kind of right. things. Right. Um, just like with the kits. It's cool seeing, like, bringing out some of these older ones to see where the arts kind of transition to. Mm -hmm. um, even just for, for me seeing where it was, where it's where it, and where it is now, um, mm -hmm. kind of comparing the two side by side. Mm -hmm. um, if you came into the game kind of late and you want to go back and fill out your collection, I mean, this is kind of mm -hmm. this is how you're going to do it. So. Right. Yeah. Um, no. It, the, it'll be a good thing to have them available, especially these older. You know, the the yellow. It's not even yellow flesh tone, but the classic yellow Lego right. head. Um, you know, we, we don't really make minifigures like that anymore because we have to focus on the ultra premium. And uh, so we are putting them in the vault. Yeah. Because that's what happens with things when they are retired from Brickmania. So that'll be cool. We're excited to see them. I think the first haul will be 25 minifigs. Um, make sure to check out our blog, BrickmaniaToys.com, uh, because we have a blog post posted there with all the ins and outs about everything, the way that the minifigures are going to work. I know that because, you know, the, the kits in the vault obviously are, are of a, a very top tier price point. The minifigs will be as well, but that's still a lot more accessible for more people than it is for the kids. And so odds are 
this will bring a lot more people into the Brickmania Vault. So just wanted to have some rules out there so people know what to expect, etc. If you haven't uh, dug into the BKM Vault before, make sure you go check out that blog post so that the first time you jump on there, you're not like, what's happening? Right. What's going on? You know what I mean? Why did everything disappear in three seconds? I don't understand. You know, so there's some... There's some good stuff to learn about there. And then we've, you know, adjusted some rules to make sure that everything's fair minifig wise. So make sure you read up on that. Um, remember that 10% off sale coming on the 5th, runs through the 11th, digital instructions, April 7th, mock contest, June 1st. Nice. World War Brick, June of next year, all that fun stuff. There's so much stuff on the horizon. Mm -hmm. I know. It's Especially all coming those, those instructions are, that's, that's going to happen very soon. Here. Mm -hmm. That's like, super exciting. Week after next. <sighs> So soon, so yeah. soon. It's gonna be exciting. We're really looking forward to the initial rollout and then hopefully we've got a good schedule to continue popping stuff out from there. So we'll have 3D custom printed items. He's gonna start working on some minifigures that'll come up a little bit later. Digital instructions, wherever you can get them. XML files for BrickLink. I mean, we're doing it right, man. It's gonna be sweet. Yeah, absolutely. What's in the, uh, have we talked about what's in the first release of instructions? Yeah, so we, we've, we've said it's the, I know we have the, the Leopard. We have the F-35, we have the AMX, we have the, is it the Type 99? No, K-2 Black Panther. Ooh. Black Panther. Okay, okay. Um, and then a couple others as well. So pretty good lineup that's initially coming. That drop will be significantly bigger than the ones you'll see weekly after that because we wanted to get a whole bunch out there in front right. of people and, and kind of get that launch up off the ground the right way. But then after that, it'll be a little bit more steady. And we've got a pretty good schedule set. We'll be getting to everything eventually. I, I know there's going to be a ton of people who are like, when is this instruction set going to arrive? And holy smoke, you know, it, we'll all get to everything in time. Obviously, Dan's got a gigantic backlog right. of kits that we have to get to. So it'll be, it'll be a while before we get everything the way, especially the older stuff. You know, pre, not necessarily pre-internet era, but pre-digital availability era. Once we get all that stuff kind of transferred over to the way it needs to be, it'll, it'll all start showing up en masse. So that'll be good. Very cool. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to go over? Yeah, I guess um, continuing on with that instruction thing, I'll be working on the a stealth fighter pilot standalone minifigure mm -hmm. for that, for just, just for the instructions kind of thing. It's, mm -hmm. it's um, previously we kind of had, we were reserving minifigures uh, just for the kits, but now since we're doing the digital instructions, let's get some minifigures out there as well. So today I'll be working on that stealth fighter pilot. Sweet. That'll pair really nice with that F-35. Yeah, sweet. So Very, very cool. That's exciting. Yeah, those minifigs will be a welcome addition to have rolling out. People will want them for their own models. And then also for the ones that they're going to want to build. So I think that's been a long time coming. But, you know, every, everything comes at a cost. So when we start filling in these backlogs of all these multiple tankers, etc., you know, we aren't necessarily going to be able to crank out new minifigs then each week as well. Or do they have you doing that? It's kind Maybe. of a mix. It's kind <laughs> of a mix. It's hit or miss, yeah. Yeah, it, it'll be a bit going a bit forward. But some of it will be instructions tailored. Some of it will be continuing with the themes. But we want to make sure that people have everything they need to get what they want to create their own Brick Mania stuff. So otherwise... Remember to just go pick it up. Pre-order is available. This one is shipping right now. And these arrive next Thursday. Make sure to read that blog post so that you understand everything that's going on, unless you've already been a veteran of the vault, in which case it works pretty much the same way. Anything else, man? No, that's it. Good to go? Cool. We'll see you on Monday.